I'm here at Monroe & Associates with Sandy Monroe, the CEO of the company, which specializes, amongst other things, in tearing down vehicles, and they've got a Tesla Model 3 that they're about to rip apart, but they've already found some issues with the car. And Sandy, one of the things that you pointed out to me was, it's almost impossible to open this hood easily. Easily is, uh, <laughs> this thing is a, a miserable job. And, and we've uh, come to the conclusion that these, uh, these guys at Tesla are definitely electronic snobs. <laughs> they don't let anything slide by. So to get in here, um, and the reason you need to get in is, is basically, if you have an accident uh, and you, you need to get rid of the power, you have to cut this cable twice, okay? Here why, here. why twice? Uh, that would be so it doesn't short out. Uh, so it can't get back so you, together all by itself. Uh, you know, you might cut this and it would short back in and close the circuit and still be, still be live. So you cut it here and you cut it there and then you don't have any problems. So that part's pretty traditional and there's nothing wrong with that. But to get to this, to get to the point where you can actually open the hood, <coughs> um, <laughs> you, you have to go over here. Let me show you uh, with a little light here. Um, this little doodad right here, this little uh, part of the fascia, um, you're supposed to push that in or pull it out somehow. And then inside there's two cables. You have to pull those cables out. You have to have a set of jumper cables and you have to have a 12 volt battery so that you can connect to the two, uh, to the two leads and that'll pop the hood. Um, we've never seen anything like this. Usually there's some kind of a mechanical thing that'll allow the fire department to get in easily. Usually it's in the inside of the uh, cab. Now there is on the, <clears throat> the big screen there, a button that you can push that will exactly. pop the hood. But yeah. in an accident, if you lose power, there's no well, way to get under the hood unless you go through this thing. It's more than losing power. I mean, in an accident, I'm pretty sure that that, uh, that uh, uh, monitor is gonna take a hit. <laughs> they, don't, they don't like too much excitement. So getting people out is kind of, you only got seconds. I mean, when the fire department is showing up, they're not gonna go and dive in and start clipping because they could wind up cutting something that, like a main power cable, it could kill them. So this is really important. This is something that they have to have. It's a safety have. issue. And this is slow. By my, I, if I was in this car and wanted somebody to cut me out, I'd want something to move faster than that. Okay, you found some other issues. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, uh, farther down the car, starting just with the door handles. You don't like the yeah. way they open. No. Um, okay, so supposedly this is supposed to be a one-handed operation. So. Um, and an ATV, I broke my wrist once. And for me, this is like near impossible. I hate this, it hurts. So it's a two so, hand operation. So I'm doing it with two hands. And I don't like things that require two hands, at least not for, uh, not for this. And uh, you probably heard <laughs> the glass inside is making noise. Or something shaking around inside it's, that door. Yeah, it's very unusual to see that. Although we will say the other doors don't sound too bad, but this oh, one that didn't one, sound no, too good. No, the two front doors are, are, are an issue. Okay. I don't know why, but they are. Uh, then we've got um, the way they did the gaps on this car are like you can see them from Mars. This is really <laughs> not so good. But we also found that they, they stuck an extra piece of cat's paw in here. This is an afterthought or something. And what's cat's paw? Uh, cat's paw just means that when the glass goes up, it seals and it keeps it from rattling a little bit. But this, uh, this stuff here, you're not supposed to just glue on another piece. Usually you take whatever is wrong and pull it out, put another one in. So that was kind of a... Geez, I never saw that before. That's, that window doesn't have it. And then you, you pointed out that there's two ways to open the front doors here. That's correct. And we're going to probably highlight this a little bit too. So this is the real way to open the door. And if you listen, you can hear it, right? That's what opens the door. Right. But, um, you know, being a mechanical snob, <laughs> I came down and lifted this way. And when you do that, the screen over here says, you have activated the alternate, you know, and so this is kind of a, a backup so that you can get out of the car if you have to. It's, me it's a mechanical system a mechanical. in case of an emergency. Right, right. So you can get out. But what you pointed out is <laughs> they don't have, they don't the have them on the back doors. No, no, I guess, uh, I guess the kids don't matter. I don't know. A anyways, there's no, um, there's no activation here except for this one. So, so if, if there was an accident, and as you say, seconds count, and you can't open the door mechanically, you have to crawl around, flip the back seats down, right. and so, crawl out the trunk. Yeah, so here you'd, you'd lift up this, uh, I don't, we, we're, we're setting this up for, uh, for a ride and drive right now, but you'd lift this handle, that seat would come forward, hopefully you don't have three people in the back seat, and then you'd crawl back here, and, um, and you'd push the, uh, the child release. 
So the child releases up here in this area here. Um, but when, you, when we get to the trunk, I mean, we're looking at some, some other little surprises. Like, number one, this is really a heavy load. Uh, we did the... A we high effort to close. High effort, yeah. yeah. The loads, the efforts for this car are higher than almost anything we've ever seen. Not since the, not since the 90s have I seen closures like this. So that's, that's a bit of an issue as well. So to get out, I've got to push the button, get this out of the way, and then, and then kind of climb out of here. And we, we should point out one other thing, too, here. There is, yeah. a, in case of an accident, you can't get in under the trunk. There's another place to right. cut the car open, yeah. to cut a cable. But you take it from there, Sandy. You know? I don't know how to do that, and I don't think I'd want to do it. So here we're looking at cutting the cable probably using a saw. So, so you've got to cut through the body here. Yeah, but where? That's the thing. It says you're supposed to cut, there's supposed to be something going on here. Uh, how do I know which thing? And I, it tells me I've got to have a buzz saw, but uh, I mean, where is there? I, I don't know. I uh, Personally, if I was in, in the fire department, I doubt very much if and, I would be the guy. And if you're in the fire department and the trunk's closed, do you even know to go here to That's find this emergency thing. cut right. through? Yeah. I'm certain that lawyers are going to have a, a field day with this kind of stuff. But let's just, uh, let's just have a look while we're still here. Let's just have a look at this, <laughs> at the gaps. I mean, if we look over here, um, I can barely get my, uh, my fingernail in. And then we look over here, you know, I can almost put my thumb in. This is, uh, this is a, a very unusual. I, I, the the stack-ups, the taller stack-ups on this car are just like nothing we've ever seen before. Not, not since, like I say, the 70s or something. I don't, I don't understand how it got to this point. I mean, these are, these are flaws that we would see on a Kia in the 90s or something. This is very, very unusual for a car that, you know, is used to pairing, uh, you know, producing luxury vehicles. I can't imagine, I can't imagine how they, how they released this. I, it's just a surprise, a really big surprise for me. Well, Sandy Monroe, thanks for this very quick overview. I can't wait until you tear into the entire vehicle and <coughs> see what you find yeah. out from that one. But yeah. thanks for your time. Okay, great. Thanks for coming, John.